Aloha, this is Olin and this month I'm participating in Kanu's Energy Challenge and today I'm going to be installing a bunch of smart strips. I've got two different types and I'll show you how they work. First type is a trickle strip or your traditional smart strip. And the second type is a timer strip. So first a trickle strip. I have two brands. Uh, this one's from Hawaii Energy, but you can find almost every major store has uh, different models and this one was from City Mill and they are very simple devices. So like a traditional surge protector, off, on. When you turn it on, they have some units that are always on, in this case two. Uh, they have one that's a control unit, so you plug something like a TV or a computer here. When its power is cut off, this strip senses the power has been cut off and all of the switched units get cut off automatically. So if you have a TV here, turn off the TV. If you have a DVR and a DVD plugged in here, these get caught up automatically when the TV's cut off. And these are powered on when the TV's powered on. So this Hawaii Energy one has two always on, one control, three switched. This one from City Mail, same thing, two always on, one control, but four switched. So the timer one works a little differently. This one operates by, this is a mechanic one, you can also get electronic ones. I haven't found these locally, so I bought this on eBay for about, I think, 10, 12 bucks with shipping. So like a hot water timer, up is on, down is off, so you just turn on and off during the times that you want them. So you can actually cycle something on and off at uh, various points throughout the day. Plug it in, and so when these things spins around, it starts turning the power on and off based on the pegs that are uh, set around here. So this is perfect for a Wi-Fi device that you want to turn off for you know, 16 hours a day. You just set the times that you don't need it, and it takes care of it. So I'm going to go around the home and show you a couple things on um, how they work and plug things in and see how much things cost. All right, let's see how much uh, money and energy we can save. What I've done is in this strip here, I put in uh, or plugged in various devices that you would typically see plugged into a smart strip, like a wireless router. This is a Roadrunner from Oceanic Internet Main Connection. This is a Google TV. This is a Direct TV DVR, and this is a standalone DVD player. And they're connected to a kilowatt or a watt meter. So you can see that these devices, and they're all off except for the, the router, are using about 37 or 38 watts per hour. So roughly speaking, that translates to about $100 per year of energy use. So if uh, you just cut these things off for half the time that you don't need them, that's about $50 in savings. And so what I also did was I unplugged each one individually to see what they each use. So the router, when I unplug that, you can see the, the watt meter will drop. And so it dropped, and so the router is using about 10 watts, and that's about $27. I calculated that the Oceanic Roadrunner unit uses about 4 watts, so it's about 11 bucks a year. The Google TV uses about 6 watts, so it's about 16 bucks a year. The Direct TV DVR uses about 12 watts, and so that was about 16, 17 bucks a year. Uh, the DVD player actually had no phantom load, so this is uh, a pretty good device. So you will have some devices that actually do not draw a load when they're not being used. So that's it. So these units total about $100 in use so if I can cut out maybe you know 75% of the time that I don't need them that's about a $75 savings per year from one smart strip pretty good deal I actually made a mistake um, our DVR has two plugs I missed the second plug so a second plug uses about 20 watts per hour so our DVR uses about $85 a year of the electricity so the other thing I was going to show you is these trickle strips usually have an adjustment control and these are needed because sometimes your control outlet the sensor uh, will not know when the device is turned off. So if this is a TV and it still draws energy when you pull it off, it may not sense that. So you have to sometimes adjust the sensitivity. And they all have either a switch type or a dial type um, sensitivity. So my plan is to install one of these trickle strips and one of these timer strips. I actually think these have more potential to save energy because they are some things you do not want to put on a trickle strip. So for example, Wi-Fi device. And what is the trigger that's going to turn off the Wi-Fi device? or a DVR. Um, DVRs take about four or five minutes to boot up. So if you turn off your TV and it kills your DVR, when you want to watch TV, you have to let it boot up for five minutes. So these um, timer strips will do the job. You just set it for when you don't need it and you can save money and electricity. Hope this has been helpful.